I'm telling you, a lot of you are making videos around genres where you think there's money versus making videos around the stuff you like and know, which will then lead to the money. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takoy with Think Media, and this channel is all about helping you build your influence with online video and YouTube. And we're gonna jump into this clip from Gary Vaynerchuk from our live event, Grow With Video Live, where he dropped some bombs. And I know you're gonna get so much value out of it, but I did wanna let you know that after this talk, he actually sat down with Sean Cannell, and they talked about some gnarly stuff. But that conversation could be found on our podcast Podcast that you could check out in the link down in the description below or after this video, we'll send you right to it. Let's get into this clip from Gary Vee. I think a lot more of you should be making very niche content around stuff you have passion around because then you will have the, everyone's like, how do you have so much energy? I'm like, I love this <laughs> I don't want to golf. I'm not interested in skiing. I don't want to sail. I don't want to cook. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to make content. But if you're making content around something that you heard has good ad sense or there's good brand deals in or that's where the money is, you're finished. Because it's not you. And if you try to make content like me who like clearly got so lucky that he grew up in the 80s because if they put me into the 2000 system, they would have drugged the f*** out of me. So, (laughs) I mean, luckily I have the best mom. She would have been like, f*** you. But you need to really lean into who you are as a communicator. I, you know, it was a funny thing to say, but I do think some of you need to not make video. For example, I think a lot of people are genuinely, this is how you were raised, this is your circumstance, you're really insecure about the way you look. It's devastating, I don't like it, I wish people didn't, but it's like more energy goes into how you look on camera than the content. Maybe you should be an audio podcaster only with no video, maybe. Because anything that's stopping you from the message is a problem. And one of the things that stops from message back to ping pong to the other thing is talking about stuff you don't know. Everyone's like, why, do you, why are you so good at this? Like, why is it so easy? Like, I jump into podcast, I just did a podcast, I'm doing this. They're like, why do you improv everything? Why is it like this? Why don't you want to know anything? I'm like, because I know what the fuck I'm talking about. If you're studying to make content, you lost. Especially if you think you're an expert. This, what I've just talked about, is the most significant part of making video. Thumbnails this, hack that, math this, analytics this, means dog if you don't have the thing I've just been talking about down. My great hope is that a lot of you go back home and start making content about different shit altogether because it's the thing you either love the most, which means you'll do the research and be in it, or the thing you know the most. And if you're lucky like I am, and the thing you love the most is the thing you know the most, then it can get really crazy. But that, is my observation 15 years into this game. Who's winning? The people leaning all in to them. Who are they? How do they roll? Let the world catch up to you. Stop chasing the world. You understand? Oh, crypto, I'm gonna go there, no, no. Let the world catch up to you. All this collectible garage sale sports car, it caught up to me. I was a dork for liking that My friends were like, you're going garage sailing? You know, like, you like flipping? This is stupid. In the 90s, college? I mean, that was the only option. Entrepreneurship, a non-conversation in the 80s and 90s. College was the only way you were gonna win. That's not the conversation today. Twitter, social media, people, there's nothing I've ever done in my life that the majority of the people, every good thing that has happened to me starts with everybody on me. 1996, I'm gonna sell wine on the internet. Everyone, who's gonna buy wine on the internet? I said, Everybody. That sounded crazy. How many people over 45 in this room? Raise your hand. Remember how crazy that was back then? That was crazy. 2006, Twitter. I was like, Twitter, 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 Twitter. Everyone's like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. You're telling me that people are gonna post things that they're going to the post office, walking the dog, eating a pizza? Who gives a about that? I answered, everybody. NFTs, blockchain, owning digital assets, people struggling with that, there's not a person in this room that's not gonna have NFTs in 10 years. Not because it's a collectible, because it's a utility. You're not gonna be able to take a flight on a plane because the NFT is gonna be the ticket. The f- is a QR code. Please listen to me. Let the world catch up to you. This whole narrative about being kind as a gangster businessman was f- laughed at 15 years ago. Now people are starting to get it. You might like Legos, you might like pancakes, you might like talking about parenting or being poorly parented, therapy, meditation, I don't 
I know, but I know every person in this room has something they like. Most people don't do it around what they like because they don't think there's money in it. Gary, there's no money in Hot Wheels. Yes, there is. Get 150,000 people a day watching your podcast on Hot Wheels and Mattel will write you a six-figure check. People are scared to be themselves. People are scared to be themselves when being yourself is the only moat in life. If you leave here, because all the information around the micro, I didn't even get into it. You know why? It doesn't matter, it's so easy. You can Google that right now. Unlimited, free, unlimited free tactics. This, what do you make? How do you make it? Do you like it? That's the game. And so I will preach this in perpetuity because it is so crystal clear. You can't sustain doing something you don't like, especially if you're doing it for money. You will lose that game every day of the week. So I hope you take a step back from this talk. I hope you realize don't be disappointed in how you communicate. Embrace how you communicate. LinkedIn has much arbitrage as TikTok. Right. Right. Right? Just talk about you like and know. It's as simple as that. And I know most of you aren't. I know it. And I don't want that for you. Because that becomes a hamster wheel. And that's why it hasn't happened. And I'd really prefer it to happen for you. I'd like you to win. Thank you.